everybody, Tashi here from Pixie Mommies Reborns. Welcome back. Happy Tuesday. I'm going to try to get this up in the morning. Um, well, it kind of is morning because it's about 4.45 a.m. Um, technically still my Monday, but many of you know my deal right now <laughs> with sleep. Anywho. So, yes, we have Oscar here again. And I had a couple of questions on his last video, uh, the, yesterday's video that um, I got him changed in. I just, I had to put him out like this because downstairs in his bassinet, this is how I had him posed. Um, I just kind of had him laying in the bassinet with his little, you know, feet curled up and it just kind of looked like he like wiggled around a little bit and had his like shirt up a little bit so I could see a little bit of his back and oh my goodness. Um, he just looks so, so sweet. Um, I figured I'd change him while I, uh, chat with you all. I'm going to show you all the cloth diaper that I had put on him yesterday. And, um, I pulled out this outfit. Figured I might as well use it. It's, it's, um, it's been pretty warm here on Long Island, New York the past few days. Um, so we kind of, you know, it got cold, but now it's like, you know, pretty warm again. So this is short sleeved. I thought it would be nice, but this is that print that I searched high and low for from Nex because it's one of their, you know, previous prints that they don't have like available now. Um, so this was something I had found on eBay because I have the pajamas and I just love this, um, safari watercolor it's the save the world uh you know line that they had and it's just like the beautiful watercolor so it's just a two-piece it's got the little you know kind of harem style pants I love and um yeah I just figured let me see them in that and I pulled out these little knit um booties uh handmade with love I'm not sure I think I got these second hands but I'm pretty sure these are on Etsy um and I and I thought it matched up nice with the color in the giraffe and just kind of put a little pop of um fall in there if that makes sense so anyway I'm gonna put you all up on the oh you know what I wanted to show you all really quick, and I am so sorry to those of you new to my channel, uh, just watching for the first time, hello and welcome. Um, this here is Oscar. He is a full-bodied silicone baby, and he is the Dwayne number two by Claire Taylor Dolls. So, I was being rude. I didn't introduce. So, uh... What came today is something that I ordered. These are for Mikhail, for my toddler Liam, my reborn toddler Liam. And they are just little boots, little what I consider like work boots. And I kind of knew that I wanted them for his wardrobe this fall. And I was like, wow, I really don't have them. I got a crib shoe, but it's kind of not the same. So I searched a while on eBay and, and they had a nice variety um, of um, both secondhand and some new. And these are actually stride rights. Um, they, they were brand new, but they were like a secondhand seller. They, they still have the stuff in them. Um, so they're, they're like new without tags. And I was so pleased when they came because they have that rugged, um, kind of worn in, um, leather look and the leather on these is so nice. Um, I wish I could let y'all put it up to your nose and smell it because you know, it smells like leather, like good leather and it, they're so the leather on these are so soft. Um, you can see it's going to be soft and would be durable for a toddler. And then, of course, the bottoms are nice and, you know, no 
um, durable for, you know, like a, a baby just starting a walk, you know, definitely knock around type of uh, boots. I like the little like maroon um, uh, laces in here and then the Velcro at the top and they're going to be, they're going to fit him perfect. They are supposed to be, yeah, they're a size four. And that's what the toddler Liam, that's the shoe size of the uh, toddler Liam is a four. And I can see that these are going to fit perfectly. They're not oversized. They're not undersized. They're just perfect. So I'm excited to get Mikhail changed into something that I think will, you know, look cute with these boots. So I was super excited to share those, even though. It's just a pair of boots. It's the little things. It's the little scores that you find in life. Um, I don't know if these are read readily available like on at Stride, right? They're probably like an addition from, you know, last year or se even several years ago because that's usually what sellers have on eBay when they have like things with new without tags. But um, which I like because then you get something, you know, different, I guess. Anywho, so now on to the diaper because we had some questions about the uh, dark color of the inside of the cloth diaper. And by the way, all of your comments yesterday um, were, I, I just love y'all so much. You're, you know... I, you know, everybody just leaves such lovely, you know, comments that a lot of thought, you know, went into it, you know, very kind comments and, you know, comments that really pertain to, you know, the video or the subject and, uh, you know, y'all, y'all just leave such lovely comments. So thank you for that. Look at how cute Oscar looks. I, I just, he feels so good in this. It's like, do I want to change him? You know, I'm going to leave this outfit out and look for pictures of him on Instagram with it or maybe in the next video. I am redeciding here. I am changing my mind. I'm a woman. I'm entitled to do that, right? <laughs> I don't want to change him out of this outfit yet. It's just so, you know, it's a little bit oversized, but it's so, you know, like I could see his little neck wrinkles and it, it's just so buttery soft that it's almost like he's wearing nothing and his movement is so just, I, I, I don't know. I just love these comfy things that you would, you know, put on a little, you know, newborn or infant baby so I just think he's looking so cute and he's feeling so snuggly right so but we're gonna take a look here at the diaper so we will take his little pants off for now and we're gonna check out this diaper because I think two of you actually uh asked about this so okay here's the diaper and the diaper has a dark color lining inside so um okay so here it is um I don't have the brand on this diaper as I explained in yesterday's video um the it has a oh this one doesn't even have a generic tag it looks like it did have a tag that Oh no, maybe that's just fuzzies. I don't know. Some of them, I know I have one that has like a generic tag. Like it just like is wash instructions. This is just fuzzies in here. And, um, you know, it, it happens. So this is one where there is no, it doesn't take a liner. There's no pocket for a liner. So the inside is the liner and it has this little, you know, it has the extra elastic in here and um, it's double lined, you know, in the middle to be absorbent for, because obviously these are made for real babies. And then the outside is, you hear that? It's a, I don't know what this material is called, but um, 
a good majority of cloth diapers have this material and it's it's pretty much like a waterproof material so things aren't going to leak through the diaper um and this is actually a charcoal gray and it is a a fleece like if not actually fleece um material but a very very good soft fleece um that is meant to be absorbent so I don't have concerns where normally I am uh, OCD not about dark colors on my dolls. I just won't do it. I just won't put it on them. Um, I don't even trust the like wash it first or put on some white tights because then that, you know, makes it bulky and things like that. So normally, yep, I am actually really concerned and it's just not worth to me um to take a risk for my dolls to have something you know ruin them or bleed color onto them and there's just something about this material that I just know I just I am not concerned um it's probably something that's pre-washed I uh, in it's definitely something again that's designed to you know absorb not release so it's just um and it's the same thing again it's a fleece so it will be the same thing as putting like a charcoal gray you know like fleece you know pants or sweat outfit on like I would definitely put I put charcoal you know gray in soft you know things it just depend. it just all depends on the materials now, I don't know if all diapers are made this way where you would feel comfortable um, with the inside. I know that um, they make, you know, um, the colored ones are popular for the colors on the inside and the outside. I don't know about a dark color on the outside that then it's on the inside of the legs and this material because it's repels out I don't I can't really answer that and as I said I don't know about other brands and what you know um it, it would be like a case-by-case -case basis that I would you know look at it so I would recommend trying to stay away from specifically buying um any cloth diapers that have a darker you know inside Oscar happened to have came, I believe this is what he came home wearing. If he wasn't wearing it, it definitely came home, you know, with him, uh, you know, in his box opening. But I'm almost 100% sure that he actually came home with this on. I know his first, his previous mommy um, used these diapers. We talked about these diapers and the very lovely fit um and that they didn't have a ton of bulk and that they just fit very nicely and she bought them I believe in a um I believe if I'm not mistaken she bought them in like a four or five pack they were quite pricey uh and uh she just didn't have the um the the seller saved she had bought them like for previously I guess for you know other silicone dolls she had um so she had had the diapers you know for a while she sent this one on Oscar but and I didn't even realize I can I had this on the more outer one but when I see I had it down on this one which made it a little more looser but it actually fits better like this and then it lets his belly button be open and it's not too tight at all this diaper has a nice stretch um it's just I really love this diaper um I just I so wish um I don't even know if uh if his previous mommy is still in the doll collecting um 
I'm not even sure. I can see it. I can try and see. I think I might have had her on my personal face, but I can't remember. But I can see if, um, oh no, I have her on my Dolly one. I can reach out to her and see if possibly she can, you know, do another look-see or if she remembers. Because I know she was telling me about one uh, brand and I think you got like four or five diapers um, but it was like 50 or $60. Like they were not cheap, you know, they were, you know, really good, um, uh, eco-friendly cloth diapers. I don't know if this one was, you know, part of that pack. I'm not sure. I will find, I will try to find out to the best I can because, um, it just, it's my, this is my favorite fit on Oscar in a diaper. Um, hands down. Now, all, all dolls are different. All silicone babies, um, as I shared, uh, you know, Kelly's comparison video yesterday, as a matter of fact, um, you know, all babies are, you know, sculpted differently, shaped differently, much like babies in real life. And, if you, you know, have ever shopped for your own children or, you know, even, you know, a relative's child, um, from one child to the next, uh, you know, how a baby's proportioned is going to matter. Like, I remember my first daughter, she was an absolute um, chunk. Um, she was quite a bit like Oscar, kind of short and stout and, you know, she had the chubby legs. She was like born with rolls. Um, and so, you know, certain things, um, that, um, would fit her like length didn't fit her waist. I had a lot of trouble with that. Um, you know, by a couple months old, she was such a butterball that, you know, I mean, she literally needed like, uh, 18, 24 months around her waist, which obviously was like ridiculously long. So, you know, I had to find clothing that, you know, accommodated her, you know, her body type. Um, so what fits really nice on one doll may not, you know, fit so nice on another doll. Um, but it's good to, you know, hear from each other about different brands of at least of, of quality, if sizing is correct and things like that. And of course, if you have a silicone doll, um, that has Oscar's body type, um, you know, and certainly the few mommies that have the Dwayne, uh, you know, edition out there, are going to know, like, you can see how this fits him. You can see how, I don't know why I'm getting fuzzies all over. You can see how, um, you know, when you put it on up here that you have his, you know, the, the belly button out to air and, you know, I can tell you and show you, you still have, you know, it's definitely not pulling or tight anywhere on him because I, that's, you know, not only dark colors am I concerned about, but also anything like, you know, tight, restricting, digging into um, the silicone, that sort of thing. I don't, you know, it, it makes me too nervous. So anyways, that's that. I'm not even going to put his pants back on him in the video. I'll just pull this off again so you can say hello. I know you've seen a lot of Oscar uh, and I know everybody... Uh, you know, some of you all enjoy, um, you know, and miss seeing other babies. Right now, um, you know, I've got a lot going on. We're in the, we're in the midst of um, doing some things in the house. So I don't even have all my babies out. Actually, a lot of my babies are downstairs and um, many are stored inside my hope chest because it's, you know, airtight sealed and, and keeps them protected. And I was feeling a bit overwhelmed as well. So I just, you know, I've really been, you know, enjoying Oscar, you know, since Athena came home, it's been like Athena and Oscar um, that are the babies that I've been enjoying and focusing on. So that's what I share with you in my videos um, because I have minimal, you know, time and 
when I pop up here. It's my downtime to share with you all. So I hope nobody gets tired of little Oscar for now. And um, but you know, mo the babies that everybody's been asking about are here. Um, I will say though to as any of you new that I am a collector that buys and sells. I do rotate dolls. Um, so you know, sometimes dolls just you know up and leave. Uh, and then you know new ones come in. Um. And that's just the way that I collect. Uh, certainly, Oscar is being thoroughly enjoyed right now. So I think you're pretty safe to say he's not going anywhere for, you know, <laughs> who knows. But he's just not going anywhere right now. And Athena the same. And one baby that is that y'all know is a guarantee is my Asir. He is what I call exempt from my collection. Um, so meaning he's not, would never be considered to be rotated and, you know, out of my collection. Um, he is very, very sentimental to me and he's just belongs to me. You know, he's, he's forever mine. So he's still sitting here very patiently and poor baby without your glasses. Can you see okay, little buddy? He's sitting here very patiently waiting to get changed into something fall. And of course his hair is like, whoof, um, which it usually is. But I just want, you know, I like to fiddle with his curls a little bit and stuff. So he's going to get changed. Um, him and Mikhail, because I want to put those boots on, are next up to be changed. And then little Athena, I'm just enjoying her in um, this little, you know, onesie I put on her. And then I wound up pairing it, putting it with um, actually Oscar's socks, which are huge on her. Um, but they make like a really cute knee sock. And almost look like a little like preemie baby leg warmer so I thought that was really cute oh and I pulled out I found the little octopus this is the one that um Jenna made from little ones only who also made um this gorgeous little um bonnet that actually has a heart pattern on it so beautiful so all right I'm gonna let y'all go it's been another long video because I just don't stop running my mouth so if you're all sick of hearing me just click off <laughs> but to any of you that like to hear me yap uh during your day maybe you're having your coffee or uh listening to me while you clean or whatever um I am just in, in real, like, just baby mode as far as, you know, um, I mean, I'm in mode of all sorts of stuff in my home and in my life and all of that. But, you know, coming to the hobby, coming on to YouTube, I'm just very immersed in the babies right now, very much enjoying um, my collection, enjoying, um, you know, my babies, enjoying um, my friends, uh, I have, my dear friends, I have Kelly that just brought a baby home, um, and, you know, uh, lots of you are bringing um baby's home and I don't know it's just it's just feels good and just having some baby fun so <laughs> let me ask her one more time there he is oh and little bear's up here so he can say hi to him because he's still hanging out in here I ultimately think when this basket goes downstairs it may kind of sort of stay empty and I may like use it to move Oscar in and out of. I'm not, I'm just not sure. I'm, I'm just all over the place lately, but all right, I'm going to end this video. I can always make another one pre-recorded if I want to keep talking. So thanks for sticking with me 
and um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed and hit that notification bell so that you never miss a video and my channel has a membership program so if you would like to become a part of the pixie squad and enjoy um, the virtual membership of my channel, um, I, exclusive live streams and content and other perks. Um, check that out, it's always in the description below or you can click the blue join button next to subscribe. All right, everyone, till next time, God bless.